the shops were wondering after how could they have improved the experience of shoppers that came in that day well how about moving the bloody green baskets that you put in the middle of the doorway so people can't even get in your shop so the first guy goes down and before you know it you've got a zoo a bunch of people all look like they're in a zoo falling over each other to buy some TVs check out the lady in the pink hijab I mean she's so trampled on that the bloke behind her actually sticks his hand on her to help keep him up <laughs> I think what's really and this is my favorite part of this whole video about Black Friday is the police always hindsight it's their favorite friend everything hindsight and they never act before always after give the advice after so you've been robbed then they tell you how you could have stopped being robbed. But you've got to get robbed first. So the same way, first people got to get trampled over, and then they're going to tell you how you could have stopped it from happening. Really disappointing, though, is the fact that when you're planning an event, um, you ask yourself the question, what can I reasonably predict is going to happen? And you could predict they were going to get large crowds and that they should have planned appropriately with appropriate levels of security to make sure that people were safe. Who gave her the rule book anyway? Don't forget children, I only take one TV at a time. One TV! Everyone remembers her from school. They do. Everyone knows her. No one gives a monkeys about your rule book. That rule book, it don't exist. It's evaporated. <laughs> And yeah, because it's Black Friday, which is an American festival, by the way, something that they do over there after Thanksgiving, we've got to chuck in the cheerleaders. Even the cheerleaders isn't that big in the UK, because obviously we never have any sun in there, because otherwise, it ain't Black Friday, is it? And I bet you I can read what those girls are thinking in their head. Bloody hell, why did we come out in winter to do something so stupid? It's November and we're freezing our butts off doing this stupid thing. So anyway, if you like this video or any other video that you see on my channel, don't forget, the man with the beard is back again and we're going to make more and more videos like this. Anything that you want to ask, anything that you want to know about, don't forget to leave your comment at the bottom of the screen and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel yeah